Welcome in to Between Two Meeples. I am Armando Castaneda. And I'm Tara Castaneda. And today is the 17th of December. We are eight days away from Christmas, seven days away from finishing our game, which is the Silent Storm Advent Calendar. If you guys haven't, if you just joined us, we are making our way through this month. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been, we've had good times, we've had some bad. Mm -hmm. But yesterday, Best day ever. Best day, yep. And we're just trying to get to be able to find Santa so Christmas can go as planned. Yeah. So if you want to stick with us and try to figure it out, uh, we are about to kick it off. Okay, on the 17th of December... You leave the door to the dark room ajar as requested and follow a narrow corridor to a door that looks familiar. A relieved cry escapes you as you enter. You knew it. You have arrived at Santa's study. Finally, he's sitting, face flushed, at his desk, rummaging through a huge pile of documents. I'm so glad you're here, he calls out, and after this brief greeting, he gets straight to the point. I'm desperately confused by the operating instructions from I am Burns. Who or what is I am Burns again, boss? You ask confused. Well, it's the security company that sold us the anti-detection system way back when, explained Santa Claus, adding irritably. These operating instructions are a joke. They are full of riddles. I almost get the impression that they had fun thinking up new ones over and over again. I mean, locking mechanism? What a silly idea. Angrily, he sweeps up some loose pages from the desk. But something else is more important to you than the operating instructions by I.M. Burns. Boss, you ask urgently, what's the deal with this giant that you mentioned earlier? Ah, yes, the giant, says Santa Claus. In the beginning, it wasn't a giant at all, but rather he seemed to be a perfectly normal person walking towards the workshop. Which in itself would have been bad enough, so I pushed that red emergency button. The heart of Burns' security system, he snorts diversively. Nice security system. After I pressed the button, in seconds the guy became huge, incredibly big, inhumanly big. And what's more, it also seems I triggered this terrible earthquake and snowstorm, and now it's so awfully quiet. You look closely at your boss. Although he seems extremely tense, he does still seem sane. As crazy as it may sound, there may be something to his story. Just now, Santa Claus continues, I checked the operating instructions and found out that there is a secret command center somewhere that we must find. You'll have to do that. In the meantime, I'll deal with the monster outside. Try to lure it away somehow. But how am I supposed to find the secret room, boss? You ask helplessly. Just follow the clues. Incidentally, we have the security company to thank for those too. Riddles, nothing but riddles, he snorts. Just wait until I get my hands on them. But that doesn't help us now. Just make your way onwards, door by door. You can do it. With that, Santa Claus once again delves into the documents. Giants, he murmurs, leafing through the pages. The best way to deal with giants? You'd better let him work and get on with your own journey. A small, pale yellow pad falls out from the piles of paper on the desk. You have to smile. Santa Claus orders these practical sticky notes with Christmas magic from the future. The boss obviously likes stationery and he loves these little sticky notes. He calls them post-its or something like that. He likes to write all sorts of messages on them and attaches them in such a way that he can always keep an eye on them. Just like you. Now open door 17. We're going to find three riddle cards and a block of post-it notes. That was a lengthy one made up for the, the short piece we had yesterday. I know. I, so before we open this, I was really hoping we were going to find Santa on the 24th, not in the middle of the... Well, I don't know. It seems kind of odd that we found him, but yeah, he's running around with the monster now and we're trying to figure out how to deal with the security system. Very interesting. Oh, there really is sticky notes in here. Okay. Okay. All right. Shall we read through some of those cards? <laughs> no. Okay. 
It is a to-do list, just like you would find on sticky notes. But they have letters highlighted. So phone Auntie Erna at 1 p.m. on Thursday. Always make pancakes with three eggs. Never eat more than five gingerbread houses or either Harry Potter book five. Gained five kilograms on the cookie diet. Hmm. Saturday will be three degrees. Don't forget woolly hat. Just a lot of, I guess I'll keep reading because maybe there's a, a clue in there. In emergencies, implement the two-phase alarm protocol. Don't tell good jokes more than three times. Interesting that three here is spelled out, mm -hmm. even though it's a number. Mike needs five more ballpoint pens. Punch two more holes in the brown belt. Water house plants one times per week. Eggnog ice cream has 400 calories. Take Ben's broom back to the first floor. Meeting room one needs donuts every morning. And lastly, sprinkle eco-safe glitter onto every second coat. What do, okay. we, what do we have in the room? Well, the room looks very bland. Let's start with the right wall, which just has like a, a globe, an old-fashioned globe. You have Santa sitting behind his desk with a stack of papers and a phone scratching his head. And then on the left wall is probably where we're going to get something out of it. It's a, there's a sticky note. It says Blackberry Tea with Rudolph every day at 3 p.m. And the B in Blackberry is dark, and the 3 in 3 p.m. is dark. So, I'm not sure. Do you... And we have all these sticky notes up here. I was wondering when these sticky notes were going to come <laughs> into play. I thought I remembered something about gingerbread. Yep, yeah. the list, six cinnamon sticks, one bar of chocolate, and three gingerbreads. Mm. Do you think we... I was wondering if we group things by the numbers. The numbers of the letters. Mm -hmm. Do we just write the number in the letter? Do we start there? Like, let's, let's try it with the number one. So if we had the number one. Well, that'd be E1 if you're doing it by... So E. E1. Oh, you're starting with numbers first? I'm just seeing if, like, all the ones maybe... And what's our one up here, just in case? Um, there's no one up here. No. Technically the one is up there, but one G, I guess. Because mm. that one has a one and a G. Is that one? The one's folded, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. So no vowels. I guess just one. Just the E, but it doesn't. I still feel like it says that we're supposed to overlay it, so. Do you think we overlay, like each card has the E, like, a big E, big E, big E. So what, you think we're supposed to overlay these cards in some way? Well, maybe copy them on here, but then... All that words and it like it really didn't give you much of a clue. 
So, I mean, the thing that keeps sticking out is that it says he had, he likes to write all sorts of messages on them and attaches them in such a way that he can always keep an eye on them. I mean, what keeps put, throwing me off is that it just, there, I've, I've read that thing at least. I know, but it says like we attach them. We haven't done that. Attach, attach sticky notes? Mm-hmm. He writes all sorts of messages on them and attaches them in such a way that he can always keep an eye on them. Uh, well, I mean, let's just talk about that. Where are we attaching them? Do you think up here? Maybe I was wondering if we overlap the three. Do you think the sticky notes are making a shape up there? Oh, well, maybe. But then on the other hand, like, how do you know what connects to what? I think you're overlapping the, like, the right letters and numbers. It's like a puzzle. So our sticky note would be like... This one's 3H. Yeah, I think, but I think we have to start with the, some, uh, of, the, some of the easier Hold stuff. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So that's 3H, right? Mm -hmm. This one's a 4H. What if we put it right next to it? What oh. if what if it is A2. You're right. It's a it's a grid. It's a grid. 1G. A B C D E F G H. It's a grid. Okay. We Okay. Crack the code? Yeah, it just looked very grid-like, but what I was doing before is I had counted this as A, B, C, D, E, F, and I knew we had Gs, Yeah. but I didn't think about the H up here. Okay, we need to make these sticky notes be our grid. I'm just, Okay, so I guess we don't need to write everything out. Maybe just write the, the I, grid yep, number. that's all I'm doing. Okay, and I'll yep. stick them on here. So Hopefully three, that was H. the kicker. 3H. Hold on. This would be 3H up here. Good thing I know how a grid works. Right, so kind of maybe a little higher because see, there's your three line. Okay. So 3H. 2E. Three. G, 1G, 3G is right here. Uh, just out of curiosity, this is one sticking, this is one thing. Mm -mm. Yeah. I feel like that's how we're gonna get our code, is that we're gonna get one number okay. out of this thing, one number out of this thing, one number out of this thing. Do you not hmm. think that's the case? Oh, okay, this is number two. I don't think so. I think it's going to, maybe. Maybe. Okay. I guess let's let's keep going with okay. that. What was that? 5B? You gave me a 5B, yeah. And a 2B. I'm thinking we're going to get three numbers. It's going to make three numbers for us. Because does that tell us anything? That's This is card two. No. Yeah, it could tell us something. You think this is card two? It is. It is card two. It's... I don't know. Maybe that's perspective? Here, how about this? Turn it back. Well, what we'll do is we'll write a little two in the corner of each one. So we know it came off of card two. Oh, all of those were off of card two? Mm-hmm. 
That's why I'm saying it didn't make anything. Okay. So that's where I'm thinking then we go. This will be card one. I did it a little out of order. So 1E, card one. 3E, card two, or ugh, card one. 3E. I mean, I see what a resemblance of what looks like a five starting to yeah. form, or it could be an eight here in a or minute. Or a six. Or a six. <laughs> okay. Well, let's, okay. let's keep going. I, I've labeled at the bottoms now, so. Uh, one eight. Number three. So that's all those, but there was one more in here. Oh. Remember, it was like a 3B or something? Yeah, B3. Ha! Ah, I see it. Do you? Hold on, I haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen it yet? No, no. Are you sure? 3B. What's it look like to you? 135? 135, yep. <laughs> it was all here. Wow. I feel I feel accomplished. I feel yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get it. I was getting so close to um looking in the instructions, but I think what really helped is writing out the numbers and then we started to realize there is a bit of a, a grid system, which. I mean, yeah. Which you caught on. I, I messed up thinking it was going to be down here. I was thinking we were going to have to open these boxes, but. Well, I did. I did want to connect. I just wanted to overlay. You're the one that realized that there was a grid. Okay. One, three, five. Should we go test yeah, it out? Make sure, it. right? Well, let's make sure we didn't <laughs> mess this up. I mean, it up. feels like. We did a good job. I would be shocked if we did all that work and then it was wrong. wrong. <laughs> One, three, five. Okay, we're, today's the 17th. 17th. Okay. Up and to the left. 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we should have a moon, a circle, and a Y. Ooh, we should. All right, that's it. We figured it out. I think we're going to call it. Yeah. Uh, that was, uh, that was I think, a, a struggle for us just on the, the riddle portion. Um, but I think one of the more one of the more fun ones, right, as we figured it out to be able to piece those together. And then we started thinking this was going to be a big number. And in reality, it was two separate numbers. They never connected. So we yeah. were making some assumptions ahead of time. Well, you, I mean... I thought it was going to be one card at a time. I didn't think it was going to be all of them because what I didn't realize is, is there's no C mm -hmm. and there's no F. So there was mm -hmm. a clear separation right. in letters so or numbers. numbers. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, good job. Okay. I hope you guys Teamwork. figured it out. I hope you guys didn't sit there and struggle. I, I mean, I think it was about 15 minutes of thinking. Uh, it was a while. But it was a while. I think it was fun and um, enjoyable. <laughs> I, I really do. I think it I was. Enjoyed it. it was a good I puzzle. I really enjoyed it. So, I wish they would have given us a little more information. I felt like they gave us... Like so, a grid, maybe? Just well, like a, the word... I like, mean, you, you gave us a novel today, and we used a sentence out of it, that, and it, it just felt... Yeah. 
that was that one was a hard one. Mm -hmm. That one kicked up the heat. So. It did. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it today. Uh, we struggled through it. We enjoyed it. So uh, please, if you haven't already, give us a like and a subscribe. I am Armando Castaneda. And I'm Tara Castaneda. We hope to see you tomorrow. Thank <music> you.